This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. <laughs> buzz, 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 <laughs> Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No. Our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes. That's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. 
I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. <laughs> you have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! <laughs> So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy. It's coming back. Here she comes. Here she comes. Catch it, Mr Pig. Oh, missed it. <gasps> oh, no. The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. 
I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. Here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lapin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, and there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <gasps> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Pepper. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Um. Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow, my arm. Oh, dear. Peppa has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <sighs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. 
Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Pepper. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it. <laughs> I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Ah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promise not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro. I will call for the doctor. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There, that will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? 
I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, 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 it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha! It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No, if you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie! I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. Uh, no. Uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's 
house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Pepper has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh! I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend. Susie. I love you a lot. Susie. Ooh. Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? Arr. Ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Always look where you're going. Then... Dr Brown Bear is right.
rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness! Call an ambulance! The ambulance is here! Oh, yes! Everyone into the ambulance! <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> Can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla! That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. 
Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Mummy did a loop the loop! That was fantastic skiing! Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> The best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush. Like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. <sighs> what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> Where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm. Maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. 
I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good breaking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be talking. Ah! Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. Woohoo! This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Breaks! Oh, yes, breaks! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! -hoo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh! Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm, let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sand castles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to be? Whee! <laughs> 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 oh, 
George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye-bye, Daddy! Bye-bye! Bye! Oh! Now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground! Oh, oh dear! Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane! There she goes! Oh, wait! That's Daddy Pig! Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig! Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped! She is going to rescue Daddy Pig! Oh. Got you! Oh, she's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Goodness, we're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> oh, 
What good little children you are. <laughs> uh, where are your parents? We're, We're stuck. stuck. Oh, oh, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. <laughs> As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy... Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Ah. Good morning, Mr Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Senor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Oh, oh. I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Goat. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. <laughs> I will show you. OK, I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes! Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! <laughs> Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! wow. That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah! Balloon! It's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello, Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. 
Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me, me, me! There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be Queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> Help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull, which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> children's ward. <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A parrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Look! It's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> The wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. The wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. 
The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles, just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them. Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs>